Here's a neat feature that is new with the S5, and it's something called the Toolbox. I'm going to swipe down. Or actually, we'll do the double swipe so we can get everything up. And you'll notice that there is the Toolbox. I'm going to tap it. And when I turn it on, you get this little symbol that shows up with the three dots. And it kind of faded away. And it's going to stay there, um, kind of uh, faded. Uh, I'm going to tap it. And these are a series of shortcuts. So I can have this anywhere on the page. I can put this anywhere on the screen. And it's smart enough to adjust itself uh, so that I can have quick access to something that I use regularly. And again, if I don't use it, it's going to kind of go transparent and it won't bother me, but I could always bring it back. Now, you can modify that toolbar or the toolbox. Let me show you how. So the S5 has lots of features, and if I go into settings, I could swipe through this, and that was kind of blinding speed, to find what I'm looking for. But the quickest way to find something is by typing uh, what you're looking for in the actual search box. So I'm going to type in toolbox, and notice how it came up, and when I tap it, I'm immediately going to go into the area. Now, notice as I had mentioned, I can edit what's in the toolbox. If I hit edit, I can choose any of the programs that are installed on my phone to appear in the toolbox. And that way, if I, for example, if I edited this again and I say, you know what, I'd like to have, in addition to my calculator, I would like to have access to, let's see what we have here, uh, my gallery. Oh, but i got to remove something because I, I can't have more than five. Forgot that. So we'll take off the calculator, and then I'll go down and I'll choose gallery and I'll hit save and now notice that the calculator is gone and now the gallery is in its place I'm going to hit, go back go back go to the home tap this and now notice that the calculator is gone and what you have is your gallery